Hi, this is the Drown God, and welcome to another episode of Mana Salsa. We have from Ireland, Jack, only by the night. Hello. And from Scotland, we have Fox2099. Hey, what's up? From New York, we have Mana Shark. Hello. And from Texas, special guest, Magic TG Talk. Hey, how's it going? And from US of A, we have myself, the Drowned God. We haven't made an episode in a while. We're just going to cover a few different things. First, I'd like to cover the new Tezzeret art that has been out, and we're going to speculate on if there's going to be new colors for Tezzeret and what the abilities might be. Jack, what do you think? I think he's probably going to be blue-black. A lot of people are probably going to disagree. Everyone thought that the new Elspeth was going to be white-green, and she was still mono-white. I think they've veered away from having card art be the same as, you know, it being... Yeah, like some speculated Koth might be an artifact or a red block. Yeah, exactly. Fox, what do you think of the new artwork for Tezzeret? It looks pretty groovy. It might be blue. But I do think you will have red in them because you're associated with Nickel Bolas. You've usually got red in you. Sark and Nickel Bolas himself has red in it. Magic TG Talk. Um, I think it looks awesome. I think uh, the one thing I noticed that uh, his new arm is actually, um, it looks like it made out of bone instead of metal. So I don't really know what that means, but. Cool. Hey, Mana Shark, what do you think? I think he's going to be blue red. So, since he's working for Nickel Bolas, so that indicates between blue black and blue red. And he seeks revenge on Jace. And usually when they do that, they go red. So, I'm pretty sure he's going to have some sort of ability of involving artifacts and burn. That would be a really strange deck. <laughs> Control on burn. Mail burn. Blue red, that would be nice. If he's a decent planeswalker and doesn't end up being like Sark and the Mad, uh, he could fit in the blue red force deck. Mike Williams piloted this deck to win first place at the 2010 Michigan States. Uh, I've had a lot of luck with it in testing. Jack, what deck have you been playing around with and what does it do? I made a green black of Nixilis deck. It runs four of Nixilis, four Oracle of Moldiah. Four Primeval Titan and four Overgrown Battlements. It's all about, like, just getting the landfall and getting up Nixilis. Not to really attack, but the ability with his landfall that he pings and kills him without even having to attack. And is this wave in there? Summoning Trap as well for, like, Primeval Titan. And, and it's fun. To play. Sounds fun. Magic TG Talk. Let's hear about your deck and kind of your experience at Friday Night Magic. I decided to do an aggro deck this time. I played a Boris Landfall deck. You know, it just has your typical, <laughs> the, the Goblin Guide, the Plated Geopede, <laughs> the Step Links. I found it was really crucial to have the 12 Fetch Land in there, because you really need to kill them quick. So, <laughs> see, on Friday Night Magic, that's what I ran, and I think there were around 40-something people, so it was six rounds and then breaking it to the top eight. Overall, I played eight rounds, and then I got top two, and then by that time, it was almost three. So then me and the other person who got top two, we just decided to call it a job. The only reason I went, because I really wanted that gatekeeper, and I got it, so. <laughs> nice. Mana Shark, the deck you're running, and what does it do? I've been running Bug Oozerator, so it's black, blue, green. It's your... Typical Fauna Shaman deck using Krotic Ooze, and you want to wind up with a Gigantomancer or Kalidus Blood Chief of Get in your graveyard, so the Necrotic Ooze could gain the ability. And it's so much fun. I uh, recommend it. Awesome. Thank you very much. This one card I'd like to talk about is Mimic That. You should at least run one in your deck, because it's so amazing. I run three. Personally. I run six. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Have you had any experience using Mimic Vat Magic TG? I haven't really played Mimic Vat in Standard, but I did play with it in Limited. It was amazing in Limited. <laughs> Especially, well, like, because, you know, in Limited in Scars, there's a lot of artifacts. Yeah. One time, I think I put it on Scrap Meddler. So, you know, every time it comes in, I destroyed an artifact. So that was really nice. 
And then some, and there's one time where me and my opponent, it was pretty much a stalemate. Stalemate ended. I think I had the Molder Beast out. Um, so it had Trample and Haste every turn. So that, that won me the game. Awesome. There's a question. If you've imprinted Mold Chandler onto your Mimic Bat, can you pay the kick cost when it comes in and use its kicking ability? Kicker says you may pay an additional one in a green as you cast a spell. Right. That doesn't so work. So you're not casting it, so you don't have the option to pay the kicker. Oh, yeah. Oh, there it is, of course, in the small print. But other come in the play effects would be pretty awesome uh, if you used it on any of the Titans, or if you used it on... Acidic Slime? Yeah, it, Mimic Vac works great with Acidic Slime, as I had an opponent do that to me last night. <laughs> do you not, like, create one at the end of your turn, destroy a land, and then create one on his turn and destroy another one of your lands? Yeah, exactly. And you know what happens? I had five mountains out in one of my hands, so I was just about ready to cast Worm Coil. And he acidic <laughs> slimes me, and it's like, that's all I really needed. Uh, he wouldn't have been able to deal with Worm Coil Engine, but since he dealt with my land, that was it. It's like, I'm done. <laughs> yeah, it's still a fantastic card. It just seems kind of high for a 2-2, but it's land destruction and a dude. What can you say? You should say by Mimic but. Buy Mimic Vats now. Why they're still at five bucks? Seven, seven dollars. Oh, they've gone yeah. up to seven. But, have they? Because they were only four pounds when I saw them last. Well, sure. doesn't that work out to be seven American dollars? Though I don't deal in dollars, man. I don't know how much it would be, but they're sold out. Well, no wonder. No wonder they're sold out. Yeah, amazing card. Like how how high could they go? They won't go that high. They should be higher than what they are. The reason that they're not is because it's not a four of. Like Jason Mind Sculptor, that's a four of. It's you're gonna, you should have four in your deck if you're playing. Mimic Fat, not so much. I mean, you definitely want to see it coming into play, but you also don't want to have two in play. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to be playing six man on your turn to get out whatever you imprinted if you have good cards in your hand that you can play also. I guess it would depend on the situation. Yeah, it does. I mean, if you just put one of their Frost Titans into the graveyard, if you can, and then have two copies come out for your turn and yeah. put down all their creatures and swing for 12. Very cool, guys. Okay, I'd like to thank Magic TG Talk for being a guest today on Mana Salsa. No, thank you. It was actually my pleasure. <laughs> And, of course, as always, Jack Only by the Night and Fox 2099. Yeah! Until <laughs> next time, this is the Drown God for Mana Salsa. Want to say bye, sir? Say bye. Bye. Yeah.